the lambs are mostly within the last week. There are a couple that are a little bit older. We lock them in at night so that they're inside away from predators and out of the, out of the weather. This is like the critical time where they, they bond and that maternal link that, that joins them for the, the next year is formed. Sue's bringing in a new baby that was just born minutes ago. It's going to go in the barn with its mom so it can pair up in a stall. Holzman Ranch is a family farm. It was started by my great-grandfather in 1862 when he brought the property from Peter Lassen's estate. It's been owned and run by women since 1914, so this year marks 151 years of family farming, of which we're really proud. I was born on, um, in Susanville and raised on this property from a baby. The timberland is also something that we really want to maintain as a viable force to produce and be a wildlife source and a source of scenery for other people across the valley to enjoy looking back at the mountain and and look at our trees and hopefully it's a pretty sight to them also. We put an easement on uh, 535 acres of our property last year on an area that is adjacent to a fish and game wildlife area, but also on the other side is adjacent to housing developments that are coming up to the fence line. And so now it's part of our grazing in the spring program and it also has always offered lots of wildlife habitat and it's a large you know receptacle for water for recharging or aquifer um, just kind of a vessel that whole area. Prop 84 was like seed money for us to achieve a lot of goals and objectives for conserving these important resources in this region to leverage other funds from private sources and and federal funds in order to achieve this corridor that's now protected. Ultimately, the reason this is so important, it means watershed, it means wildlife, and it means working landscapes. And if we can sustain those three things in this region, we will have a very successful, thriving community here. <laughs> They're so cute.